Hello, Summoners! Chronopolis CC here from Player Support. Today, we're going to take a look at routers, ports, and how they can interfere with your connection to League of Legends. A router is how your computer connects to your Internet Service Provider, or ISP. Inside that router are software ports that act as gateways, protecting you while you browse the Internet. Sometimes those gateways get a little aggro and block programs they shouldn't, like League of Legends causing problems patching, logging in, and connecting to games. It's kind of like getting blocked by Brahms' unbreakable shield. When it's up, nothing can pass through. Lag in game once you are connected is an entirely different issue, however. Ports won't cause that. For laggy gameplay, make sure to check the connection troubleshooting guides and videos on the player support website. This video will show you how to access your router and forward the ports necessary to connect to League of Legends. To access it, you'll need to grab some computer info first. Click your Windows button and select All Programs, then Accessories, then Command Prompt. Type IP Config, and then hit Enter. Make sure to write down your IPv4 address and your default gateway address. On Mac, you can find this info by opening the Apple menu, clicking System Preferences, then under Internet and Network, click Network. Jot down your gateway IP or router number and IP address. Now, open your Internet browser and type your default gateway number. In our case, it's 192.168.1.1. You may be asked for a password and username, however this will be different for each router. Most commonly, the username is admin, and the password is, well, password. Lesson learned? Always make sure to change your default passwords. If that didn't work, check out portforward.com for a complete list of usernames and passwords. Once you're in, look for a page called Port Forwarding. Each router is unique, so this may be named something different, like virtual servers or NAT instead. Now, we'll create entries for the ports that League of Legends requires access through. Here are the port ranges we need to add. When asked for the IP address, use your computer's IPv4 address that you copied down earlier. Make sure to create an entry for each port listed here. If you're connecting behind a restricted network, such as an office or college campus, make sure to provide these ports to your network admin so they can open them up for you. Hopefully by now, you have a better understanding of how ports work. If this didn't address your connection problems, make sure to check out support.riotgames.com for more troubleshooting videos and help.